For those listeners interested in party politics, <laughs> no, really, there are some I know. This is a full-service news station. We have to cater to all tastes. The majority of listeners, I understand, want to hear Radio Derb's masterful geostrategic analyses, penetrating sociological observations, biting cultural critiques and Lindsay Lohan jokes. Minorities have rights too, though. Indeed, in a well-ordered 21st century society, they have more rights than the rest of us. So I am obliged to address their interests. So, for the minority of listeners who are already looking forward with eager anticipation to the 2016 presidential election season, here are some very early notes. The principal name here is Hillary, which is to say Mrs. Clinton. The lady, I am sure, needs no introduction from me. The last major coverage we gave her on Radio Derb was in October last year, when we named her as one of the three horse girls of the apocalypse. The other two horse girls were Samantha Power, who ran the Obama administration's evil and foolish human rights program, and then advanced from there to become our ambassador to the evil and foolish United Nations, and Susan Rice, Ms. Power's predecessor as ambassador to the Turtle Bay Asylum. The particular apocalypse of which Clinton, Power and Rice were the horse girls was the human rights apocalypse. That is, the horrors that ensue when powerful nations decide that defending their commercial interests and keeping an eye on potential adversaries are insufficiently uplifting in a world crying out for moral guidance. Keeping the sea lanes open and rattling the occasional sabre simply cannot compare in importance to deposing friendly dictators and preventing Somali goat herds from circumcising their teenage girls. So, we got the 2012 Benghazi fiasco, in which the USA lost an ambassador, the first to be murdered in the line of duty since 1979. Three other Americans were also killed, in part due to sloppiness and inattention by Mrs. Clinton's State Department, who then of course did their best to cover up their delinquencies. Mrs. Clinton accepted responsibility for the disaster at last, but having said, I accept responsibility, apparently she felt that no further action on her part, such as, for example, a dignified resignation, was necessary. That's the lady. Before she was Secretary of State, she was a senator from New York, and in 2008 a candidate in the Democratic Party's presidential primaries. Democratic primary voters, in their wisdom, decided that as exciting and leg-tingling as it would be to have a female president, having a black one would be even more gratifying to their feelings of moral worth. So Hillary got state as a consolation prize. So the question now is, will Mrs Clinton try again in 2016? Let's weigh the odds.